Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, someone posted a comment on my cure on my recure or accept autism uh, video, uh, which basically said that the uh, that both statements of we should be uh, curing autism because of uh, humanity mutating negatively owing, owing to low function and uh, that we shouldn't cure it because of high functioning autism causing humanity to mutate positively both had logical bases for them and actually having taken a look at his argument I do I, I do admit that he has a point uh, he asked me to post the video if possible um, as to whether or not there were um, any benefits for the lower uh, for our lower functioning um, co uh, relatives owing to the fact that uh, many Aspies tend to say don't cure autism because of us and we tend to overlook uh, the aspects for neg uh, for low functioning autism. Um, to a point, I do agree with him. Uh, the I will admit for uh, lower fu my brother is lower functioning autistic as opposed to my uh, as opposed to my Aspergers, and um, for him, his capabilities, particularly in relation to um, uh, his um, now mind you, of course, he's high functioning enough he can still speak fluently. So this is how I know a large chunk of what's going on with him. I also know a few other uh, low-functioning autistics who um, are the stereotypical autistic. Um, this is what I've talked about before in distinguishing between high-functioning autism and the stereotype of autism. When people think of when I refer to the stereotype, most people think of the lowest of the low-functioning autistics. You know, the ones who are constantly reading, um, you know, um, rocking back and forth, and uh, you know, and are almost um, com uh, almost appear to be unintelligent or what have you because of the way they react to the outside world. Um, I'd like to make something perfectly clear. Our, yes, the uh, lower functioning autistic ends do, at the worst extremes, have that. That being said, there are not there are some benefits to having a lower functioning autism end. Now, mind you, this is only for some lower end autistics, and I do think that research is needed into this area. Um, you know, again, this is for amendment of symptoms rather than for the actual autism, owing to the fact that the um, autism may cause rise of some of this stuff later. If you ever have watched a movie called the uh, called Rain Man, um, the man in there who actually uh, the the savant who's re referred to in there, um, he has the capability to perform higher mathematical functions. Um, he has a he has a real knack for memorizing numbers and performing mathematical calculations in in, in, the, uh, in the in a heartbeat. Now it's unfocused, um, and he's closer he's considerably closer to an end of lower functioning autism. Um, savant capability. Um, if you take a look at this, uh, uh, the spectrum of things, as you get closer down to the lower IQ end, in a lot of cases there are autistics who actually do have capability for um, who actually do have capability for developing um, savant qualities. Um, examples of this are uh, autistics who uh, can hear Beethoven played once, and then uh, you know, uh, like who can hear it once and then replay an entire symphony on on piano. Um, other examples are like Rain Man, who has the incredible capability for mathematics. Others, uh, now this is only popular media examples, have been shown to have exceptional memory for um, uh, for cases of uh, you know uh, for dates, locations, um, hyper focus into one memory, not just Asperger's based, but you know um, you know uh, exceptional memory for for a single for a particular type of sound or something like that. Um, now it's not been very well communicated owing to the lower functioning format, but you know. Um, I mean, there have been who, some who've had art, who've had incredible artistic creativity in terms of painting and others. Um, I guess my concern in terms of uh, uh, curing autism overall is not just because of the issues pertaining to high functioning, but I think that um, only to the fact that there are cases of savantism, uh, you know, of, of, of savants in lower in lower functioning autism, owing to the 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 hyper focus aspect is still there, um, regardless of uh, you know. Like the hyperfocus aspect that that is there for high functioning autism is also there for low functioning autism. It just it forms a little bit differently, and uh, it's communication with the outside and and as, and lower functioning autistics uh, oddities, if you will, with commu uh, communication with the outside world is um, somewhat difficult, owing to the fact that the um, and the much of the stunted growth and the you know and seeing things from behind a waterfall and the like is owing to the fact that. Um, Autistics in the lower functioning end, um, they may even have equal intelligence to, uh, they may even have equal intelligence to normal people or even uh, to Aspies. The problem is, is uh, and this is a large chunk of where uh, misconstrual happens um, as well with Aspies, and I want to make this perfectly clear. 
Aspies have a greater uh, output capability in a certain area in a certain couple of areas, particularly in linguistic areas. That plus our hyperfocus and sometimes our higher mathematical capability allows us to appear more intelligent. Um, you know that we may even have normal IQ. It just may be hyper specialized in one particular or more particular areas, thus making uh, us having a better applied intelligence than a neurotypical. Um, that's again, and, and yes, in a lot of cases, Aspies do have a higher IQ, but that's just due to uh, the intellect developing first um, and us having to focus in those particular areas. But again, that varies from Aspie to Aspie. Now, uh, in terms of lower functioning autistics, some of them may may well have uh, neur um, may well have superior level IQs, or um, or even normal level IQs. The only reason that you don't see that in terms of the developmental aspect is because of the fact that their bodies. Are, uh, that they, they, because of the fact that they're, um, in addition to their heightened brains, they have heightened senses. And their senses are considerably more so heightened than for an Aspie. I mean, an Aspie can hit sensory overload once every so often. Like, say, for example, we hit an anxiety problem. Um, our, senses get high, our, our senses get heightened considerably more so, so all sensory data you know, further puts it to the, part of, to the point our brain fries out. Or we end up having you know, a sensory overload to the point where we end up going into a depression where it just shuts down the system right off the bat. Um, for an for a full functioning for a low functioning autistic, um, the bulk of what you're dealing with is um, we only deal with heightened senses every so often. Our hyperfocus allows us to kind of block out parts of it. For uh, uh, you know, we only have slightly heightened senses. For a full functioning autistic, they have heightened senses along. Um, you know, they have they have like fully uh, heightened senses. Uh, to the point where um, the sensory overload in both uh, sight, sound, t smell, taste, touch, uh, virtually every sense is so overwhelmed that they literally shut down. Um, you know, they're shut down most of the time owing to these sensory heightens. Now, uh, owing to these heightened senses. Now, um, the trick uh, the trick with dealing with lower with lower functioning autistics, and this is one of the things, is do not view them as retarded or view them as uh, you know as a problem that needs to be cured. If they do have a savant capability, or if they do have, uh, you know, an exceptional hyperfocus uh, ability, you know, in in their local area, then chances are they need that chance to be able to work out from their sensory data in order to be able to access that capability. So, if you want to look at anything when it comes to dealing with um, when it comes to dealing with uh, curing of autism or or trying to deal with symptoms, in lower functioning autistics, work with the um, you know work with the heightened sense issue. Work with the heightened sense issue and work with allowing them to trust a way of, of slowly, you know, gaining trust and working with people in the outside world. You know, again, uh, this does require a lot more research and a lot more work. And, um, you know, I, will, well, I guess my concern is that I would not uh, agree with curing autism, but I would agree with further research into dealing with the symptoms of autism. So this way, the, um, you know, so this way, whatever the benefits are in terms of uh, higher IQ or what have you for the high-functioning autistics and possible savant capabilities, uh, you know, exceptional memory, uh, um, you know, I think, I think what also needs to be uh, looked into is further research into savantism uh, uh, as well, uh, you know, in its own right, and seeing its relation to lower-functioning autism and taking a look at the possible benefits therefrom, um, you know, of savant, qu of savant qualities in um, lower-functioning autistics. If the symptom, if, if lower functioning autistics could eventually be trained into their particular savant capabilities, say for example a person who has that capability of, you know, hearing that Beethoven once and playing it back, could be, uh, you know, could be taught to train by ear for for various different tunes. You know, like if they could if they could start, you know, getting an interest in that and start playing that, they for themselves, for example, could become a composer. A guy like Rain Man could become a brilliant mathematician when given a little bit of focus. You know, when, when, when given a little bit of channeling and focus. Now, the problem, of course, means that this requires an entire bunch of new training tactics for both high-functioning and low-functioning autistics. Um, there are a few people who are working on some stuff for higher-functioning, but uh, not so much for lower-functioning. But, you know, um, the point is that if they could develop newer techniques to help train them uh, to focus in their special interest areas, um, they could be of exceptional benefit to society. Um, again, I've, I've, made, I've made plenty of cases before about how... Um, Aspie's uh, and aut high-functioning autistics basis in logic could be uh, a severe benefit in a society which is becoming more technological and scientific, uh, you know, by the day. Um, for a um, for low-functioning autistics to avoid us losing in, uh, you know, they could be the counterpart to high-functioning autistics and helping maintain through seven qualities, um, you know, art, music, and the like, in the hopes that uh, as we're working on a lot towards a newer logical basis, we don't lose sight of emotions in the process. They just become secondary to logic. So, uh, or, or hand in hand. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Toodles.